Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about being productive in the short amount of time that you have. Hi, I'm Nicole Homont with Shield Bar Marketing, here to give you a couple of the strategies that I personally use when it comes to managing my time. That way, I get things done. Currently, my son is in preschool, two and a half hours per day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. My husband has every other Friday off from work. So therefore, I have a very finite amount of time to accomplish things that need to be done that I don't want to have distractions around. So a few of the things that I do, and there are several things, I do try to be very organized. I have an Excel spreadsheet for quite a bit. I um, use different things like that. But the main two things I wanted to talk to you about today are batching or single tasking, and also shutting off your Wi-Fi and your internet to your phone so you're not distracted. So let's start with the Wi-Fi and mobile data on your phone. When you are busy and you do not want to be interrupted, you can put your phone in airplane mode so you don't even receive phone calls or text messages, or you can put it in do not disturb mode so people get notified you, know, you don't want to be disturbed. Or what I personally do is I shut the internet off and I shut the mobile data off so the only thing I can get are text messages and phone calls. So that way if something comes up at school, I can get notified right away. Every notification on my phone makes it buzz even if I do have it on vibrate. So that's why I completely turn off all mobile data so I don't get any notifications about Facebook or YouTube or anything else like that. Now, that is a big thing to remember to do. There's several times I haven't done it and then I get interrupted and then I look at my phone and then 15 minutes are gone because, oh my goodness, I gotta check this and I gotta reply to that and blah, blah, blah. So, shut the mobile data off. Shut your Wi-Fi off. Concentrate on what you're doing. The other biggest thing that helps me is I single task or do batch work. So to me, what that means is if I am gonna shoot videos, I'm gonna do at least three videos back to back to back. That way, I'm in video mode, I record, I upload and then I edit, which I don't do a lot of editing on these videos. You get what you see, but I do add like keywords and descriptions and things like that. That makes efficient use of my time. Now I also have an Amazon store. So on Mondays, I reorder inventory for that store. I try to get everything out of the way on Monday. I reprice it, check the competition and order anything new. Then I also do the website design and the social media management. And I have several clients that are spread throughout the US, so I use different um, things to keep in communication with them. When I sit down to write an email newsletter to remind them to update their information, I try to do three months at a time. I can schedule it so then it is done, I don't have to worry about it, and I'm always working ahead that way. So make sure you take the time sit down, write that to-do list. Everybody needs a to-do list. That's just something you have to have. But figure out what you can do so you're in the flow of getting that type of thing done. So if I am gonna create logos and art and graphics and things like that, I wanna sit down and get inspired and log into my Photoshop and log into my stock photography and do it one time and get it done. Then move on to the next task. And of course, when you're all done and you're ready to go grocery shopping or all the other things, concentrate on that task at hand. Concentrate on spending time with your child or with your husband. Leave work at work and home at home. And if you work from home like I do, sometimes that can be very difficult to accomplish. Also, wanted to give a quick shout out to my son Lincoln. He uh, drew my Shield Bar logo. Like he says, it kind of looks like Pac-Man right now, but that's okay, he's five. So let me, um, Remind you, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below or email me. My email address is down there. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get notified every time a new one is posted. Or if you want to, you can um, pop on over and sign up on my email newsletter and then I'll send out a monthly summary of all the videos with summaries of what those are about. So if you just wanna pick and choose which videos you wanna watch, you are welcome to do that. As always, make it a great week. 